I greet you guys in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know what situation you are undergoing, but you are going to move through it. You are going to be victorious. You are going to touch nations. Your name is yet to be written in the book of life. Your name is yet to be written in the book of success in this planet. That you will touch nations. You will touch people and people will want to identify with you because you dared to try. However, you are not flying, please try to start running. Even if you're not running, please start walking. If you're not walking, please crawl. If you're not crawling, please hope. But keep on trying to make sure that you succeed in the game that you have been, you know, pursuing in your life because God has the best plan for all of our lives. So this is it. You know, the, David said, even though I walk through the value of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I don't know what you're going through. Could it be addiction? Could it be uh, fornication? Could it be um, that the promotion you have been waiting for, somebody downplayed, somebody did sabotage and you were not able to achieve it? I mean, God is planning a greater comeback for your life. And be sure that you are going to succeed in due season. Because at the end of the day, God has the best timing. You know, sometimes you were praying, you were thinking that the thing is waiting too long to come through, but God is planning for a, re a resurrection. God is planning for a total restoration that you will come out victorious. You might be praying for a healing, but God is praying for a resurrection and putting it up for you to go through resurrection like Lazarus. You know, because God is all powerful. God can see it all. You know, in Psalms uh, that is uh, 9 to 23, 4, that is what the Lord is saying. For you are with me, your rod and staff, they comfort me. I don't know whatever sickness you're going through. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if your children are running with the wrong crowds, but just say that, you know, your children are getting back on course and they are going to do amazing things to turn their lives around because God does it all for us. As for me and my house, we will always serve the Lord. That was the word of Joshua, you know. Joshua 24, 15, you know, the giants might be big, but yes, we serve a bigger God and we are going to come out victorious. Remember, for 40 days, Goliath was always shouting insults to the Israelites, but the 40 days also arrived. That David said, Hi, you come against me with chill and sword, but I come against you with the name of the Lord and the Lord stood by David even with a slingshot with a few fine stones just one was enough to hit this guy and he fed his head to the birds of the sky oh God is a good God he can do it you know so somebody I don't know what insult somebody is shouting or trading against you I don't know what they are doing maybe somebody is sabotaging the dream that you have been waiting for somebody walked out on you but just know that God is a powerful God and yet he's gonna do it for you he did it for those in the Old Testament. He did it for those in the New Testament. He's yet to do in our lives. And we will be victorious in our own timing. King Saul was always talking David out of fighting Goliath. But David knew even if he didn't have the training, he did not have all the stuff to fight Goliath. But he knew he had God. And if we have God by our side who can stand against us, we are going to run. We are not going to get fiery. You know, we are not going to get weary. We are going to run and we will walk. We will move. You know, that is it, guys. Oh, I wish we can be such fighters to be resolved, to keep moving, to keep walking, knowing that God someday will do it for us. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares the Lord. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. 
The devil is a liar. Oh, I tell you, he comes to destroy, to steal from us, you know, to lie, you know, to us. But I tell you that God is a good God. He comes with a plan for peace, a plan to prosper us even in the desert, a plan to give us hope even in a state of hopelessness that we might be undergoing. That is our God, you know. Let us look, let us sight, let us desire. Even if you're blind, let us know that God is yet to give you that sight that you have been waiting for. He will restore you back into wholeness. Daniel 3, 16 to 18. We don't know, uh, you know, we do not need to defend ourselves. You know, the three young teenage uh, boys, Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they told King Nebuchadnezzar that we do not need to defend ourselves in these matters. The God we serve is a supernatural God. He will save us. But even if he doesn't save us, we will not bow down to your pressure. How powerful that is. That even if you throw us in the fire, God is going to walk out the way for us. Even if he doesn't, we will not worship the God that you have created unto yourself. That is our God, ladies and gentlemen. Lord, the Lord can do it all for us, guys. Even when they turned the fire furnace seven times more water and the gods who threw them in, they died instantly. A fourth man appeared. The situation you might be going through might be tough. But I tell you that the Lord will stand by you. He will stand with you through thick and thin. You will come out and you will succeed. And the Lord is a good God. Ladies and gentlemen. I wish that we keep on our, 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 our prayers. That the Lord will come that to cause a king like Nebuchadnezzar, I don't know the king in your life that is distracting you, but that king the Lord will cause them to make another decree to worship only the God of Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's your God too. That he can cause and things to turn around. Ladies and gentlemen, let us look Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. That's the word of the Lord. Whatever they might be doing against you, you are powerful. You are talented. You will be victorious. You will perform. You will be a, a great name that we are yet to see in this planet. Deuteronomy 28, 13, You are the egg, not the tail. You shall always be a winner. That is the word of the Lord. In Psalms 18, uh, 2, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. In Psalms 27, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Romans 8, 37, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans 13, 1 through uh, 33, what message are you having even in the state of hopelessness that you might be going through? A state where we don't understand nations are brutalizing people, they are beating up people. I don't know, you are not seeing the way of getting the next meal tomorrow, but just know that God is in the throne of heaven and the day he is going to bless you, is going to bless you indeed that you will not lack simply anything. If he created manna that people fed, even when they were not seeing a way, he parted the Red uh, Sea that people moved on dry ground just like he did on Jordan River. Surely he can do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. You know, So Numbers um, 13, 1 to 33, Caleb and, and, and Joshua had a good report. Though others you know, who were taken from the 12 nations of the Israelites, they came with a different report. The 10 came with a different report, but the two came with a different version of the whole stuff. 
He say, they said, they may be big, but we serve a bigger God. And the God that we serve can do it for all of us. They might be huge. They might be equipped. They might have gone under all the trainings for the military. But just with the name of the Lord, we can come up and we will be victorious in Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate all of you guys. I pray that you have a blessed um, weekend as we move towards the next days of our lives let's be able to serve let's give let's be able to help one another to succeed thank you so much ladies and gentlemen peace from me to you 